All right, hello, I'm Mr. Moore from LPI, and uh, I'm one of the Milken Award winners for 2015, and we're going to be doing a Milken Showcase. So this hopefully should be shown in some other classes. My class is going to enjoy it today, I think. Um, but uh, we should show up. So today I have with me Tiny, mm -hmm. and Tiny's my assistant. Tiny, tell me a little bit about your hobbies. Um, well, in my hobbies, I've trained with my brother in the past time, and we've practiced on our jobs. I also do grappling and wrestling. I also do running, which helps me build up my muscles and also builds up my strength, where my punches could be stronger. Cool. So one of the reasons I'm using Tiny is because she does have a background with MMA and some other physical sports, and I didn't really want to get somebody who was accidentally going to light me up. Okay, so she's not doing full force on these, but she will be punching me a couple times today to do new locks. Cool. And um, do we need to get you a box, or we can have no, no box? All right. okay. She's like, I'm going to punch you. All right, you guys, so real quick before we start punching teachers, uh, I just want to talk to you guys about Newton's Laws of Motions real quick, and this is a physics beat down. Okay, so a couple things. Physics. Keep it simple. All right, the idea here is physics involves so many different things. We're going to deal with one or two factors, in this case, just one factor at a time. To keep it simple, if you get really complicated with physics, you're going to hurt your brain before you even figure out what you're doing at a base level. Okay? Now, when we make it harder, we're going to start adding things like spin, friction, multi-directional forces. Remember, there's air resistance and gravity, and all these things go into play when we talk about Newton's laws of motion. So we're just going to keep it simple today. Okay? All right, safety. Don't go punching your friends. Okay? Um, the, you guys are actually going to find a little a video later, uh, a little bit later, so you guys can, can do your own figuring this out. But I'm just using Tiny because it's uh, more interactive for my students here. Okay? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say Newton's first law, take one. And then you're going to pop me real quick. Pop me right there. Right here. This is where I want. Okay? okay. Right here. Okay? All right. Newton's first law. Take one. One. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. I'm not. You got it? <laughs> Come on, everybody wants to punch you. Just all think, all about, all all <laughs> think about all the assignments right, he's given you. There it is. That's <laughs> one. Okay? All right. Give me a second now. Guys, we're back. <laughs> Newton's first law. Inertia. Okay? Uh, an object at rest will stay at rest, and an object in motion will stay in motion until acted upon by an outside force. Now, clearly my head was not in motion until I got popped once, okay? And so with that one, you guys, uh, the law of inertia states that my head probably would have stayed there happily for hours um, unless Tiny uh, take it, took a little swing at me. All right, cool. Mr. Moore, Tiny back, and this is going to be Newton's second law. Here we go. <laughs> Two. All right, guys, we're back with Newton's second law, because I just got popped again. Keep it down a little bit for this one. All right, so F equals MA, force equals mass times acceleration. That's Newton's second law. But for us to make it into a practical thing where we're getting punched here, I want to talk about stuff. So how do we determine the mass? Okay, so first of all, um, we went to this website, and it talks about segments, body segments. And they've done this with professional athletes. They've done this with cadavers. But the idea is they figure out the percent mass of each body. So. We figured out that for a female, for Tiny, about 5% of her body is going to be in her arm, okay? And we guessed that she weighs about 100 pounds-ish, okay? She's a little under, but 100 makes it easier for our math, okay? Um, and so what we did is then we need to convert it uh, from pounds to grams. Now we have to talk real quick here, balances versus scales, okay? A balance um, talks about how much mass there is in an object. A scale is how much gravity is acting on it. So understand that when we convert from pounds to grams, it's not exact. It really depends where we are on Earth because a scale has a spring and a balance just balances out to the mass. Okay? All right, so we figured out that we had 2,267 grams. We figured out that we had 2, 000, or 225 grams in the gloves. And so we were able to figure out the mass that was coming at me. And it's about uh, 2,500 grams-ish. Okay? All right, so uh, how we determine uh, the acceleration? All right, so you guys, when you have acceleration, you already have velocity. You have uh, two velocities. You have the current velocity and then the added velocity or the final velocity, okay? So what we worked out here was we had the initial velocity and then we have the final velocity. So we subtract the initial velocity for us. It was zero because she was standing still, okay? And the time we measured for her arm to move forward and back or forward to my face uh, was about half a second. So when we look at it, we have 0.5 meters, uh, per second, and then we had zero meters per second because we were stationary, and then we divided by that 0.5 seconds. We ended up with 0.5 meters per second per, divided by five second, 0.5 seconds, and we end up with a equals one m, one meter second per second. Okay, or we have acceleration equals one meter per second squared. 
Okay? All right, we throw it back together, we can figure out Tiny's force. Okay, now, force is measured in newtons. All right? So, with newtons, um, these are a measurement of force when it's grams per meter per second per second, which is cool, because that's what we're going to put it in. F equals ma. F equals 2,500 grams times one meter per second per second. We end up with 2,500 grams uh, meters per second per second, which is actually 2,500 newtons of force, which is a significant amount of force, says my nose. All right, you guys, we're back with Tiny. Tiny is on the box, but it's because I want to change the angle so I don't get popped in the nose again. All right, uh, but the idea here is we got our box. We also, it lowers the distance she has before she makes connection with my face, which should slow the acceleration down just a little bit. Okay, still having a good time, Tiny? Yeah. You'd feel better if I had gloves on, huh? And then you wouldn't even care because you just. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, so the third law. Here we go. <laughs> and we're good. All right, we're back again, you guys. We're going to talk Newton's third law. Okay, so for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Okay, so the funny thing about this is, who do you guys think have more force? My face or Tiny's fist? What do you guys think? Tiny's fist. Okay, so the truth is, at the moment of impact, they have the same amount of force acting on both objects. Okay, and so the idea is whenever something hits something else, you need to understand at the moment of collision, there's an equal and opposite force on both objects. Now, as we get to higher physics, uh, it turns out that there's uh, more things at play, but we can talk about that later. But for now, you guys just need to understand there's an equal and opposite reaction, okay? So, now that we've established they both have the same force, okay, we need to talk real quick about conservation of momentum, all right? Have you guys ever seen movies where somebody, like, jumps off a motorcycle and then punches somebody? Yeah. Okay, so the idea is conservation of momentum says we take the momentum of the vehicle and then we add it to the person flying through the air who's swinging. Okay? And that comes into play too, because if Tiny was running when she punched me, or if the boxers were circling, that other motion would have to be added to it to get conservation of momentum. So I got Tiny here, I'm okay. And Tiny was all about this until she punched me the first time and then she started to feel bad. So Tiny's a rock star, thank you for beating the crap out of me. Okay? Alright, so you guys check it out. You guys need to find your own video. I don't want you guys to shoot your own video. You have to find your own video on YouTube. And you guys have to have a collision. Once you guys find that collision, I want you guys to start looking at the objects in play, do some research, find their mass, look at the video, record it, see how much time it takes, figure out the acceleration. Then I want you guys to tell me how many newtons of force are behind that collision. Okay, a couple of hints. All right, so if you guys find something that starts stationary, it makes it way easy to find the acceleration, okay? Also, um, so it should be school appropriate, okay? Nobody can die unless it's like a famous thing, like JFK, that's, a, that's an okay thing to do if you guys want to, okay? But I want you guys to keep it school appropriate, okay? On that, no music. You'd be amazed how many times these videos have cussing you, okay? All right, keep track of the websites you use, and last things, I want you guys to show all of your math work. All right, cool? All right, uh, tag, we'll see who's next.